a compact cucumber plant that produces delicious cucumbers and a lot of cucumbers. Let's look at growing the Bush Slicer Cucumber variety. The seed packet that we are using is from Renee's Garden and these are very good quality seeds. And we're going to be starting our cucumber plants in seed starting cells. And as you can see here, we are preparing our seed starting mix. And this is a combination of peat moss, vermiculite and compost. And I think this is the best combination that you can use to start your own seeds. You can use cocoa core instead of peat moss if you prefer. And as you can see here, this combination makes a very nice seed starting mix that you can use to start your cucumber plants. Now there are two ways you can water your seed starting mix. One way is to just sprinkle some water on the top. This will get the seed started quickly. And also water from the bottom, which will let the seed starting cells absorb more water. You can also pre-moisten your seed starting mix and then put it in the cells as you see here. And once again, this is the seed packet we are using and we're going to be sowing one to two seeds per cell and that is quite enough. We are growing about six cucumber plants here. Now you can go with two seeds, but this seed packet has such a high germination rate that you do not need to sow more than one seed. And don't forget to label your plant so you know which variety you're growing. And 16 days later, you can see that the cucumber plants have grown pretty well and the roots have started coming out of the bottom of the cells, which means it's a good time to start transplanting them. So we are going to be using a whiskey barrel container here to plant our cucumber plants. And this is a compact cucumber variety. And if you look at the soil here, we already have a lot of organic matter in the soil. And we were growing shallots earlier in this container. And now this has enough organic matter and enough fertilizer to sustain the next plant, which are the cucumbers. And we're going to be transplanting our cucumber seedlings from the cells to this whiskey barrel container. And as you can see here, all we do is just remove the plants from the cells and then plant them. And this is a compact cucumber variety. That means that it will not produce a lot of vines. It will rather produce less vines and also be a much more compact plant compared to the regular cucumber variety. And that's the biggest difference between a bush type cucumber and the vining type cucumber. And that's the fact that this plant will grow in a very compact fashion and still produce a lot of cucumbers as you will soon see. And all cucumbers need some kind of staking, which we will be adding a little later because this cucumber doesn't produce a lot of vines we can wait for some time to add the stakes. Now make sure you water your seedlings very thoroughly. This is the most important step of planting your seedlings when you're transplanting them. We had a heat wave in July and as you can see here, the plant suffered quite a lot. But the cucumber is a pretty resilient plant. It will come back up even if it is stressed. And as you can see here, now the plants have grown a little larger. The vines have started becoming strong. And now is the time to start training your cucumber vines to grow on the trellis. Take some kind of a support structure. I'm using these plastic stakes here. And I'm just going to be tying the cucumber plants to these stakes. Now, when you look at the plants now, it may seem like they do not like being trained, but that's not the case. Eventually, these cucumber vines will start following the path and start growing as you train them. Make sure you choose a nice sunny location for your cucumber plants and also make sure that the weather is warm to hot. Cucumbers like warm to hot weather 
and they will not tolerate cold or frost. And although it's a little late in July that we planted, it can still grow through the end of August here in Southern California. And as you can see here, we are training the vines of the other cucumber plant as well. And it will follow the path to the stake as well. And this cucumber variety will grow to about 4 feet or so. And then start producing cucumbers. Unlike the regular cucumber, the vining cucumber variety which will keep producing a lot of vines before it starts producing fruits. So as you can see here, the plant doesn't look very happy now. But in just a few days you will see that the plant has adapted and it will be back to normal. Right here, just like that. As you can see here, cucumbers can be trained very easily on these vines and they can grow into bigger plants very easily. Now as far as insects and diseases go, I did not see any insects on the plant. However, cucumbers are literally born with powdery mildew. As you can see here, the leaves get a little white and the solution that I used was to spray the leaves with sesame oil. Now there are many ways you can deal with this problem. But I found that sesame oil or even milk, three parts of water to one part of milk works very well. And you can see here the flowers have started forming now. Cucumbers have also started forming. And this is a time where you can actually see all your cucumbers being formed. And once again, this is not a huge plant as you can see here. It does go to about four feet. Mine went a little larger, I think but still a very compact cucumber variety. And we're going to be harvesting our first cucumber now. And as you can see here, beautiful looking cucumber, quite a small and compact sized cucumber, but that's what you get for planting compact cucumber varieties, a decently sized cucumber, and you can easily grow these in containers. And that's the whole idea of growing compact cucumber plants, the bush type cucumber plants, is that although your cucumbers might look small, they are extremely delicious and it does produce a lot of cucumbers. Once again you can see here beautiful looking cucumber that we harvested and there are several more growing on the plant. Now let's cut open a cucumber and see how it looks like. This is a very nice soft cucumber variety. The seeds are not very hard as you can see here as long as you harvest them in time. And you can just slice these cucumbers just like that with the peels. You always get more nutrients when you eat the peel. And I usually throw away the top and bottom part of the cucumber because that's the part that has the most bitterness. Now although I didn't find any bitterness in my cucumber, I know a lot of our YouTube viewers have mentioned that their cucumbers are bitter. And if that is the case, just throw away the top and the bottom parts and you should have cucumbers that are not bitter. Also make sure that you're growing at least two cucumber plants in the same place and that helps reduce bitterness as well. Now my kids actually like the cucumbers when the skin has been removed. So we're removing the skin here. As you can see, we're just peeling off the skin. and once we have peeled off the skin, we are going to be chopping this up into smaller slices. And there's a little old wife's tale, something that we've all heard. And that is a fact that to remove the bitterness of the cucumber, you need to remove the sides, the top and the bottom part of the cucumber, and then rub them against the cucumber to remove the bitterness. Now, I don't know how well this works, but I'm just going to show you the technique and try and see if this works for you and if it does work put in a comment below here and let us know. So all you really do is remove the top part of the cucumber and then rub it against the side just like that and I have no idea what really happens but it's supposed to remove the bitterness away from the cucumber. Now as a kid I've always been doing this and supposedly it was working but there are some cucumber varieties that are actually resistant to being bitter. They don't usually turn up bitter. And then there are some cucumber varieties that actually are bitter. 
Now the bush slicer cucumber, this cucumber variety is one that is not bitter. Most of the cucumbers I harvested were excellent in taste and just as expected, you know, lovely tasting cucumbers without any bitterness. And as you can see here, even after harvesting a few cucumbers, there are still a few more growing on the plant. And if you have been following my monthly series, you have been seeing me harvesting these cucumbers on a monthly basis. We harvested these in July, we harvested these in August, and the plant just kept producing. So overall, it's a very productive cucumber variety, especially the fact that you can harvest so many cucumbers and also the fact that the plant is quite compact. And as you can see, we have easily grown this in a container and still harvested a lot of cucumbers. Very nice looking cucumbers and also very delicious. So there we have it folks. That was our episode on growing the bush type cucumber variety called the bush slicer. If you have a favorite cucumber variety, do let us know in the comments box below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. We'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.